Hey, well, it did not rain on our parade last night at Dickey Stevens Park. We hosted recovery night at the Trabs, and it was such a great night. We had a whole booth set up, you could see there, um, and we had people who are in recovery share their story with us of how they got to recovery. And that is scary to do, to go ahead and, you know, be so vulnerable, but we appreciate it so much. That's uh, me and the Exodus graduates. So all the men and women that you saw right there, all of them at one point in time were in jail, battling mm -hmm. drug addiction. Wow. And now they are out and they are living their life. But I want to share a little bit of you, some of the stories we heard last night. Thank you. It doesn't matter what background you come from, honestly, addiction doesn't pick and choose. I'm Sydney and I'm an addict. Um, I've got 30 days clean today and I'm super grateful for where I'm at today. I started using drugs when I was about 12 years old. Uh, landed me in prison three times. That's how I ended up finding recovery. I'm happier than I've ever been now, and I've got a little over six months clean. I've uh, had a 40-year addiction. I finally found hope. I have a restored relationship with my children and my family, and I just, uh, I just thankful to be alive today. Y'all, I'm getting emotional. Oh, <laughs> um, it was such a great night, and I get so emotional talking about this because, sorry, I didn't know it was yeah. going to okay. um, but for me, this is so important for people to share their story, and that's how we end the stigma. It's so hard for these individuals to do that and to get up there, um, but I am just so proud of them, and looking around, you know, I do this because I lost the man I love to addiction, but to see these people doing this is giving me hope and giving so many other people hope that there is a chance for recovery and you're looking at those individuals so we're working on getting all those interviews up online for you but it does it gets yeah. me so emotional just talking about it and I looked around last night and I was just like wow yeah this is amazing and that came together so fast too so I can't imagine what it will be like next year <laughs> I know we're hoping better. to make it bigger and better Whoo! Yeah. okay yeah. I just I need that is emotional <laughs> I mean just right. sitting here and, and hearing those yeah. stories especially this man saying you know I finally have a relationship with my kids I and, know it's and huge that there is hope you know mm -hmm. um, it's not these people aren't uh, a lost cause yeah you know, you've got to keep keep reaching out to them and, and keep helping and don't give up